have you ever seen such a teeny little wee lineup for a Detroit pro, for a pro show? The IFBB has really skimped down on the number of competitors at some of these shows. Let us hope, let us pray that somebody else will jump into this one for goodness sakes. But as is, we have a six-man battle crew for the uh, Detroit Pro. It's a pro qualifier, of course. Let's, as usual, lads and lattices, properlies, go through these competitors one at a time. Martin Fitzwater. Martin. Martin. Not too many people talking about Martin. You guys talk about your Nick Walkers, your Andrew Jacks, why not talk about Martin Fitzwater? He is good. Good. He is very good. He could win this one. This is him at the, what was it, the Arnold Classic UK? I think he placed fourth. I was a little bit disappointed. I was a little bit disappointed. See, I don't think they have any of the good stuff over at the UK. And he didn't have any of the good stuff. You want to come up and compete in Canada there, Martin? If you know what I'm saying. I will hook you up. But anyway, anyway, he could have been better and he was still awesome. Supreme. He was better in, I, I think it was Texas, Texas, a little bit before. What did he place? Hold on here. Let me check my little, he placed uh, second in Texas. Martin Fitzwater, high hopes for this guy, but can't talk about Martin the whole video for goodness sakes. Competitor number two. Gabriel Garipi. And it said, it said that this guy was making his pro debut. But did he not? He got his pro card at the Toronto Pro and then he competed at the Pro, the Toronto Pro itself, because he got eighth. So this won't be his pro debut, to my knowledge. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, he looks pretty solid. Competitor number three. This guy looks pretty solid as well. This is Vitali Goodvito. They're calling him Goodvito on the competitors' lists. Interesting. His name is Vitali Yugulnikov. I guess they would rather just push the name Goodvito. He is good. Like I said about Martin, he's good or whatever I did. The noise. He is extra good too. So, oh, what a battle. Battle. So I hope they're both battle-faced and ready. Come showtime. Oh, go over to the other side here. We have three more guys, beginning with Ronald Gordon. Ooh, April 14th. So it's soon. Prepare yourselves for this one, guys. Ronald Gordon, I remember this guy. I mean, this picture is from the Indie Pro, 2022. He got 11th, but I remember he competed at a, I think it was a Tampa. He was awesome. He was awesome. So he's a little bit longer limbed than your standard bodybuilder, but hey, hmm. So was Andrew Jack, so was, you know, Rafael Brandeo, some of them. Well, maybe not so much as Rafael, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? He can, he can, he could shine in this one anyway. Competitor number five, Harry Harris. I wonder if he's related to Ron Harris. My man, Ron Harris. You guys know Ron Harris. Ron Harris Muscle is a good YouTube channel. Watch it. We used to go to school with a guy, and I know I get into these little... We, we, his name was Barry Harris. We we called him Harry Bear. <laughs> you know what we called him. <laughs> Seriously, though, Harry Harris has some good solid condition, and this is a guy, if tweaked properly, he could get into that first call out, believe it or not. Justin Rodriguez, last but most certainly not least on this list. A lot of people were counting him out. He just is not going to take time off, guys. Let's just face it. He's just not going to take time off. But a lot of people were counting him out. He placed ahead of Horse MD at the Arnold Classic. Huh? That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. He actually looked pretty decent. He got eighth at the Arnold Classic. Come on! This place is too hot for a pickup. The chapel won't touch us till we reach the border. Hey, Belle, find me the top three. This is your top three. This is your first call out for the Detroit Pro. And this is only six guys. Tried to make this one as entertaining as possible for you guys. You know what I mean? You know, a little laugh, a little, even a little smile. Just a little, 
tweak at the little smile, smile piece. Look at Good Vito. He's smiling. But you get these guys are all smiling. Showing those pearly whites. Who will win? Justin Rodriguez, he could get the upset on this one. But I'm putting him third. Putting him third. It's going to be a battle between Martin Fitzwater and Good Vito, Vitaly Yugolikov. And hey, like I said, Justin could win. Justin could beat both of these guys. It's possible. But I have it. Good Vito second. Martin Fitzwater. Martin. Martin. I'm telling you right now, guys. Good Vito. He is. I'm not counting him out. Not at all. But look what happened at the Arnold South America. Antonio Burton was 110%. And he's a top eight Olympian. Half AL, top 10. Year before, he'd be top eight maybe. Be battling it out with Tonio at the Olympia, I can tell you that. So, wasn't like Vito sucked. He could have beat both of those guys, but a little bit of refinement. And it's going to be the same situation. Martin Fitzwater, he is going to come out fresh, crisp, brand new. And in Detroit, sure you can score. I'm sure you can score in Detroit. Hit thumbs up on the video, lads and lattices. Let me know what your top three is. I can almost guarantee you guys have these three studs in your top three. Hey, Harry Harris could get in there. You don't know. Old Ronald could get in there, too. Uh, what the heck? We'll throw the other guy's name in there. Gabriel could get in there, too. Gonzaga? No, that's, a, that's UFC. That's UFC. Have a nice one.